अभी तक मणिपुर में जो घटनाएं हुआ वो एक तरफ अभी भविष्य में जो घटना होने वाले हैं वो अत्यंत गंभीर घटना होने वाले हैं इसीलिए आज का प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस का मूल विषय है कि आपके सामने मणिपुर का ए डी जी पी लॉ एंड ऑर्डर का डायरेक्शन एंड ऑर्डर्स ये ऑर्डर्स क्या है मणिपुर में 900 कुकी लोगों को मिलिटेंट ट्रेनिंग देकर ड्रोन्स की जो बॉम्ब्स को प्रोवाइड करके मिसाइल्स को प्रोवाइड करके म्यांमार की तरफ से भारत भूभाग में भेजकर ये जो मैठी लोगों की जो खेती है जो पहाड़ है वहाँ 900 लोगों को 30 30 सदस्यों की जैसे एक टीम बनाकर मणिपुर में आतंक मचाने के लिए बॉम्ब डालने के लिए वहाँ से मिसाइल्स प्लेस करने के लिए मिसाइलों के द्वारा वहाँ सार भूभाग को नाश करने के लिए अटैक करने के लिए ये इंटेलिजेंस का प्रॉपर सिक्योरिटी मेजर्स लेने के लिए ऑर्डर है ये केवल कल ही पत्रकारों की माध्यमों से बाहर रखने के लिए सोचा था परंतु कल ही हमको ये आदेश प्राप्त हुआ हमारा सोर्सर्स की माध्यम से इसीलिए ये आदेश सामने रख रहे हैं इसमें ये भी लिखा कि ऑन ट्वेंटी एट दिस मंथ दिस थ्री नाइन हंड्रेड पीपल Uh, you know like uh, 30 30 30 in a form of different groups they are trying to attack how they are going to attack using drones using missiles and they wanted to uh, attack the entire manipur the uh, jurisdictions inside the metis this letter contains the action plan who are all working behind this that is important see i'll uh, read some of the few organizations names the cookies how they are working in a well uh, in a very well systematic manner and who is working behind this china the pakistan and the myanmar and all other uh, christian mafia working behind this for the last 20 years no they can they came to this position no the cookie is how they are working what are all the organizations they have started and what's their main claim these are all we mentioned here so i'll read you some few these things yeah in cookies they have started these organizations cookie national front in india nobody knows what is cookie national front what's their aim with what toolkit they are working that's cookie the national front and kuki revolutionary army are bhaiya they, they are building army separate army against india so we have to be very careful and next united people's front and another organization and kuki national army and kuki democratic movement they are asking a separate country how how in the same way next one is kuki national liberation front okay uh zumi revolutionary army zumi defense force kuki security forces these are all very dangerous for the india so the thing what are you expecting from the government when you are yeah india? i am requesting a government of india to uh, arrange a complete meeting inviting all stakeholders i am requesting prime minister of india invite chief ministers of uh, all the states it's not only just a manipur problem tomorrow the same kind of problem may arise in uh, the you know the gujarat and the kutch area and the bed dwarka area maybe in kerala maybe in all other places so we need a perfect 5 years 10 years 20 years action plan for the uh, protection of our borders especially one more suggestion also i am requesting our defense minister also to upgrade the weapons system till now we are using big big tanks and ak 47s rifles these are all become old one no cookies they are using the drone uh, bombs 
the drone missiles so we have to understand we have to update our the military defense the, the defense system also though ultimately our main aim is to protect our borders our sima our land and our people from two different mafias one is christian and the muslims that's what